Good morning from Meru Town. This is Meru Town, guys. It's not so good morning for me because yesterday I was rained on, and the previous day still I was rained on. So my bike, the my bike disc, brake disc have a problem. They keep uh, working and not working. So for the time being, I'm walking around Meru Town to try and see if I can find a good bike mechanic to, to fix it for me in the meantime let's continue touring Meru town this is the place uh, or this is the depot for Mogoka and Mira that is the cart this is the depot of it where it came from it usually come from in Kenya I don't know is it because it's on a weekend that a lot of shops are closed I have no idea how they are maybe it's because it's on a weekend there is a lot of shops are closed here if not it's because on a weekend maybe they usually don't wake up very early but it's not very early right now it's about 8 30 in the morning so I don't understand why maybe they are but I don't know because I'm new here. I have no idea about here. I'll have to cope. Even finding a bike mechanic here is a problem. But I'm hoping to find one soon. This area in Meru County is called Upper uh, Mirimani. <laughs> um, uh, I, I was almost to say Upper Hill because of because of Upper Hill Nairobi, but this is Mirimani. Uh, this is where most of the government offices are located. We have even uh, the Meru robot on my right side. There it is, Meru robot, the judiciary. We have the county assembly of Meru. We have. Uh, Huduma Center, we have women prison. Uh, there is a lot of government offices around, uh, around Mirimani generally. This is the county assembly of Meru. My left side is the University of uh, Mount Kenya University. Finally, the traveler is in Meru County. How amazing it is! It has been a journey all the way from Nairobi. I go, I went to Abedewe. Let me count the county which I have been so far. Number one, we have Nairobi County, we have Kiabu County, uh, we went to Nakuru County, also we passed by Nyandarwa County. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> let me start counting, I have lost count. So, number one, we have Nairobi City, we have County, we have Kiabu County, we have Nakuru County, we have Nyandarwa County, we have Raikipia County, we have Nyeri County, we have... Uh, we went back to Raikipia, then now we are in Meru. So this is our county number seven. Wow, how amazing it is. It has been a uh, dedication. It has, it has took a lot of dedication, a lot of, a lot of motivation, you know. It has been a journey. But right now I'm in Meru County, I'm somehow stranded. Uh, my bike has lost uh, the brakes, uh, front brakes. Uh, yesterday it lost the front brakes uh, and today I have lost the rear brakes so I can't cycle anymore. I'm trying to look for a mechanic or a fight bo uh, bicycle mechanic. I can't find any. See how the streets are silent. 
it is on a weekend is on a sunday i think this makes uh Meruya, Merian. <laughs> is it Merian? the people who live in meru the meruans not to open the uh, shop very early i don't know where to find her uh i don't know where to find maybe the mechanic but let me keep looking hope to find one and continue to the journey back to nairobi from here i was supposed to to sleep in embu but uh due to how i'm seeing it I'm, i might not make it to embu so let's see let's wait let's wait and see let me continue looking for someone to fix my bike this is meru county come across this big river anywhere I have been directed I find they have already closed I'll be walking towards Nairobi maybe this can turn out to be a walking adventure not a cycling adventure so I'll be walking towards Nairobi for now and try and look if I can find somewhere uh, open because almost every shop that I'm directed they have already closed and by the way Meru is very big from where I slept yesterday in an area today in an area called Makutano up to this area still I'm in Meru County. I haven't come out of Meru County. Not really Meru County but Meru Town itself. Meru Town is very big. Meru County is major because I came, uh, I entered in Meru County when I left Nanyuki, maybe a kilometer when I left Nanyuki town. Yeah. But Meru town, that's what I was talking about, is bigger. Maybe it might be the next city to be promoted, like Naturu. In 10 years to come, maybe it will be promoted to become a city. Who knows? Right now I'm leaving Meru town, have come across this bypass, this is Meru bypass, but the very interesting thing that I'm finding is, don't fry, please drive. Mostly Mira drivers and Mugoka drive at a very high speed, so they are mostly referred as frying. I think that's why it's written don't fry, uh, please drive. In the meantime, I haven't found any any bike repair shop. Um, and I have decided to keep walking towards Embu. Adimadi uh, Tapatafundi. Because today is on a Sunday, most, most bikes, uh, bicycle shops are closed. Uh, even I don't know <laughs> wherever I'm directed it's closed so let me keep walking the weather today is a bit cloudy the weather today is cloudy uh, so it might rain early today uh, maybe like yesterday how it rained uh, early but in the meantime let's keep on walking and checking out if we can find somewhere to repair our bike and continue with the journey my problems are not in the sight of heading very soon i'm completely completely right now light of now nah, out of meru town uh, you can see i'm already in the village mm, a lot of sugarcane so I'm keep on walking to see how far I can go 
and also to see if I will find someone to fix my head uh, disc brakes. In Melu I found one place where I would be fixed but unfortunately the shop was closed. Uh, they don't usually open on uh, weekends. So I wasn't lucky to get fixed. For my brakes to get, uh, to get fixed. I have already lost all. Both brakes. The front and the rear brakes. They are caps. Coof dead. <laughs> So let me continue, maybe I will be lucky to find somewhere. Uh, yeah, to uh, maybe because mm. I tell you, walking is work. Walk now, because even better to ride, better to cycle uh, than to, to walk. Again on Meru Ebu Highway, we have come across Equita once again. That is, that would be, I think, my fourth or fifth time to pass uh, to go from north to south and from south to north. It would be maybe my fourth or fifth because there is Subukia, uh, there is somewhere between uh, Nyahururu and Narumoro. I passed twice. There is Nanyuki and then this. So it will be about four. It is raining. And uh, <laughs> my problems are still existing. But I'm uh, about a few kilometers to Ngofo. Ngobo. Is it Ngopo? Uh, the pronunciation of Amer, they pronounce it very well. That's it. I think Ngopo or so I'm, I'm thinking of fixing there. I'm thinking of uh, if I make it there, I will be fixing the bike there. I can't try to ride without brakes. Even eh, I can't dare. I can't dare. But this is all because of rain. There has been a lot of rain. I have been laying down in uh, maybe three occasions or three days yeah that's what has led me to that in the meantime we are continuing uh, with the walk with the bike park expedition turned to walking expedition let's go guys this area is called Equita it is because of that equator that passes through where we have just passed right now. Due to the ongoing heavy rains, uh, I'm finding that most of the river have a lot of water. I have come across several and uh, most of them are very full. Others, they have plenty of water. Like this one, I don't know the name. Mm -hmm. Still not in the area, Baduk Nanyesha. Let's continue.
Meru County is very blessed with uh, with the rivers. A lot of rivers. I have come across them on this route from Nairobi to Meru. Also on the other side from Nanyuki to Meru. This is the density of the water on the rainy season day. This is river Ingido. <laughs> Pronunciation Ingido, uh, Ingido something like that. It is a very big river. We are now in Gofo at last. This is where I'm planning to get because this is a big town. I expect to get a good mechanic. I'm expecting to get a good mechanic here and fix my bike and continue. Uh, if I get, I won't be sleeping here. I will be going forward towards Embu. Uh, but let's wait and see. Because I was expecting the same in Meru. I was expecting the same in Meru to get someone who can fix because Meru is big town. But I did it get. This is Ngofo town, it looks similar with the Meru, but I think it's supposed to because mostly here the population is a Meru, uh, that is a tribe in Kenya called Meru, and uh, they are the popular here, so maybe it's good, it's not a surprise they look from, uh, the same with Meru, Meru town. Things didn't go as I was expecting because the mechanic which I found right here in Kofu wasn't able to fix it. Uh, so I'm looking for accommodation right now so that I can uh, I'd start my day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I will be riding, not re-riding but I will uh, board Matatu or public service vehicle to Embu. Because uh, Embu is a big town, I'm expecting there that I will be able to fix my bike so in the meantime let me look for accommodation and see you tomorrow on the road uh, boarding the matatu not really riding as we have been experiencing all the way from narombi uh, all around mount kenya
so guys I'm seated somewhere in Nebu county uh, I think this thing look familiar similar with the one in uh, Meru uh, I took a picture of it uh, by the that was yesterday it will be in this video but that was yesterday that is because I have been having a very hard time trying to fix the brakes of my bike it's already 5 p.m. Uh, in the evening on the trip around uh, Mount Kenya the cycling trip around Mount Kenya uh, the, by, the brakes didn't work at all I never have a Sijapata Kapisa I didn't get someone to fix them the pads uh, those replacing pads there is no way I can find them right here in um, Ebu also I didn't find in Meru also in somewhere called Inkofo I didn't find so I decided to do the other type of brake the one which have uh, two parts on each side of the wheel I'll show you maybe tomorrow by the way uh, the reason why you have seen me is very early uh, not early but it's in the evening but uh, the darkness hasn't come yet it's because I have already packed the bike it has been fixed and tomorrow I'm expecting to have a very busy day tomorrow will be the last day uh, of the expedition that's why I have relaxed very early it's 4 p.m. I have already packed the bike and it's ready for tomorrow tomorrow will I'm expecting to do allowed one uh, 110 kilometers from here to Nairobi and I hope I will be able to do it expecting that my bike won't fail me again so for the time being I want us to tour around Ebu County or Ebu Town I have never been here this is my first time um, I will be starting my tour right here on this uh, Fibo Ya Nyayo I think and uh, the other Huiso Ya Nyayo I think maybe <laughs> not really know about I don't know more about this monument but I hope so that is Fibo Ya Nyayo Fibo Ya Nyayo was a was a Fibo that the former president Moy was uh, usually carrying and the one uh, that's for the first president that is the Mo, the Kenyatta Mr. Jomo Kenyatta he was he usually he, he used to to carry that that thing you know so let me to around Ebu County Ebu town specific and see what it have for us these guys
so this guy Vini akali ya oke basi Nah ya Dilo udah gue kue buta Ini kita akan video On my left side That is the office of the governor And it looks very beautiful Ali tu ameti ameti tengene zamari pazuri pakuka the governor of Embu County. This is his office. In this part of Ebu town, most of it is for government offices. Have just police uh, passed police station up Nyumba. Opposite me, up Ivo Piatini, there was a forest uh, mm -hmm, Kenya Old Rift Service or forest department offices. Yeah, we have. There is a lot of government offices in this part of Ebu town. Also in front of me, you can see that is the office of the president, regional commission of offices. There is a lot of government offices in this area for the service. getting late right now and let us go and have a sleep or relax for the big day tomorrow as we will be concluding our uh, Mount Kenya circuit bikepack expedition tomorrow we'll be riding from this town this is Zembu town all the way to Nai uh, Nairobi city that's about 110 to 120 kilometers of cycling and mostly in this area uh before we reach Kirenyaga it will be up and uh, uphill and downhills so i'm expecting a very hard day tomorrow in the meantime thank you so much for watching this is mr mtt motive that traveler subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you on the next one
Peace.